What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Dungeon of the Endless. And last time, we are on floor 6 now. So things are going well. Uh, we are getting a, some harrowing situations occurring. So we are going to have to start being a little bit more careful. But so far it's going okay, we haven't lost anyone. And we've got a fair amount of resources gathered up. Hey, we've got a... Uh, ooh, another person, he looks quite cool actually so if someone does die I'm not going to try and get anyone killed off that'd be stupid but if someone does die we can at least replace them we've also have found the exit oh wow I'm Mint a mage and a spellcaster and I will ruin all those defying me no ignore that it's the other guy so we found two people on one floor that's good got plenty of choice to uh, replace our people should any of them die horribly. Well, nothing, not finding much up here. Hey, a research crystal though. That's very nice to see. Keep that room powered up. What do you have? Oh, there are monsters spawning in the rooms with our people. So we're going to need to move in and help them. Uh, she's probably going to die. I think he just might be dying. We'll move down to that one, help out down there. Heal you up. Oh, yeah, he died. Uh, let's build two prisoner prods in here quickly. Oh, it has no dust in that room. Okay, then. Uh, we'll depower this thing. Power up this room. And get two prisoner prods. They'll build pretty quickly. And they will significantly help out. Those two people who we just found are, of course, dead. That's just how things go when you get to the later floors. If you can't recruit them, they die. Because they don't have the wonderful heal button that we have. And actually, I'm kind of worried in that respect. So let's get a food replicator here. I don't know how much use it'll be, but it's nice to have it. Now, what research can we get? Uh, I'm not sure about the Neurostone module. I've mentioned it before. The land module... Mm. We'll go for the Neurostone, I think. After all, upgrading that isn't a bad idea. It's just... It sort of seems to have diminishing returns. So how much do we need for that merchant? There's no one down here, so we'll... Actually, there is. We've got our droid down there. So we'll see what he can see. Now then. It's at least... Ooh. 100... 60, 70, 80, 183. That leaves us with what? what? Let's say it costs 200. It leaves us with about 16. We'll be a bit low on production, but if we build industry generators straight away, we should be just fine. Also, we can sell this toothpick for something. So let's buy this stuff now, I think. I think we'll be just fine in that respect. Who was going to get this? I think it was him. However, she is doing the running round. Hmm. But she has the zone device. So. I will buy it for him. After all, he's only got a prisoner's uniform. There you go. We can have the king's armor. We'll sell the toothpick. And the prison uniform. And we'll sell this as well. We're not going to use it. And that gets us back some of our production. So it wasn't quite as expensive. Still expensive. But it's not quite as bad. Now then, do we just move straight on? I mean, we could do. You know what? Let's just move. We'll just move straight on. I don't feel any need to stay around on this floor. The layout is a bit too horrible for me to want to continue on this particular floor. Let's grab you. We'll put him, say, here. And we'll depower the room with the defences in it. And we already have done. Okay, so there's going to be one room which has monsters in it. And if we put him in there, they shouldn't spawn. They might do, though. Well, let's just move on. I don't like going this far. I think when we get the call, though, all doors will open, so we will get a big boost to our resources. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like we did, but we did get some more dust from it, though. So let's... F let's, uh... Speed on down to the exit. We've got the final Nero Stone upgrade. Well, I don't know if it's the final one. 
It's level four now though, so that's something. They are chasing us, but the neuro stun. Oh, he needs to not to be in that room. Let's get him down here as well. Everyone in this room. They are, everyone's here. Time to leave. And exit. New picture. Let's see what conversations we get. <clears throat> what do you mean I don't look sick? Look at my files. Don't touch me. Get away. Our drugs could heal you in seconds. Don't you want to lose that mask? I just want to point out that she's shouting all the time. I like the mask. I'm, I'm like. Uh, let's try that again. I like the mask. I'm used to it. It would cause terrible stress if I took it off. Don't worry, we have drugs for that too. <laughs> so these two appear to be getting on in a very certain way. I can't tell if it's a negative way or a positive way. Uh, I'd say it's kind of neutral. I don't think they'll kill each other, but they might do. <laughs> Hopefully they won't. I've had that happen before and it's not good. So we've unlocked some new stuff for Ward and Mormish. Uh, might have a look at that in the album later on. Another horrible layout though. Ugh. I don't like the ones with the uh, four door layout. Well, let's get moving. Ooh, a room with a note, with a module immediately. That's always nice to see. We are doing quite a chunk of damage now thanks to our guy's uh, tightrope. Technically a spear. So we want an industry generator. After all, our industry is the lowest, we will leave the Warden here and get our three big damage dealers moving on. Another module straight away. It's very nice. I don't want to separate the party too much though at this point. So who's uh, essentially the most durable? 47, 30... She could probably do with levelling up a bit. Or he could. We're probably going to leave her behind and keep the droid going and him. In fact, we'll level him up just so his defences are a little bit better and he's got more health. I feel a bit safer that way. We'll also get a food replicator in here. You two are going to be the ones who are moving on. I think, from what I can tell, wit has something to do with how much you level up or how much stuff you get from each one. So if these two were to swap places, we'd we'll probably end up getting more food than production. But I'm happy with the eleven, and we got a self-powered room. So, it's fine. Hopefully we'll get at least four dust. We don't, but there's a science crystal. Viral injector 2, a tactical hub. Okay, that wouldn't be such a bad idea. 18% attack power for uh, all heroes on the floor? It's not bad. And if that gets leveled up enough, it might become something... Oh, a menace. Might start doing a lot of damage. Now yeah, then, what's in here? We've got a normal crystal. Uh, ooh, slow but powerful. This is a nice one. People lose speed, but they gain a lot of attack power. I am more than happy with this room. It's a nice room to have. It means everyone's going to be doing a lot more damage. But they'll be slower. Small price to pay. Another five dust. Is that a self-powered room? It is indeed. Could put a module in there. Do we need to? No, the science won't be too bad, but we'll keep the modules we have at the moment. At least... Let's try this again. Okay, now I apologise for my speaking skills. They are atrocious when it comes to reading stuff. At least we could stop and dissect the remains. For science, of course. Okay, sure. Got some more dust. Um, that room's powered. That room needs to be powered. There we go. Can leave him in there. Uh, we can also get at least two research things going. We want the science machine at this point. What else can we get? Suppressive fire or suppressive firebot? The shop won't be too bad either. It gives uh, dust apparently. Hmm. Don't know how you use that. We'll uh, have to save our stuff for the time being. Let's build a science machine somewhere at least. Let's say here. 
It should be just fine there. That way we're at least getting a bit more science. Now which way do we go? That's the question. That room's got some support in it so we can build some prisoner prods and we'll go tear gas. We won't go the uh, neuro stun. What do we have in here? A chest and some more dust. Very nice. We have a rapier. We can't really do much with it but we've got it. It's a sword after all. Uh, it does quite a lot of damage actually. That thing would be really nice to get if we uh, had someone who could actually use it. So let's keep going on. Uh, oh, want to make sure one of them stays in this room. Hey, you merchant. What's he offering? He wants science, obviously. But that is a sun machine gun, so no one can use it. We have a device that grants repair and just three weights. Again, I do believe that wit actually does contribute towards how much stuff we get from the uh, for operating. So perhaps getting one of those for someone wouldn't be such so bad. However, it is science, and we don't have a lot of science, so that's the problem. Now, then, how is everyone doing? Once if we level you up, you gain another skill. Do you? No, but you gain an active skill. Um, you gain the skill. You get so everyone gains a skill at least. But who's going to be running around more? Probably. Ooh, it's difficult to say. I think we'll upgrade her. She just have the lowest health out of everyone, and that'll at least get her into 600. So we'll do this. It's a bit expensive. What's this? Plus 10 health in health regen in rooms that are powered. <laughs> Fake pills plus L33T skills equals health regen. <laughs> nice. Oh, it says here, Dina is involved in the story to heal the la to heal the lame with Mormish. So we can see some uh, stories being unlocked. In fact, that droid on the last floor might have a story with uh, DV8, which would be quite interesting to see. Obviously, that we'll have to wait till later before we can uh, find that story out. If there is a story to go with it, there is no doors up here, so we have unfortunately gone the wrong way. So nowhere to go, but uh, keep on moving. There's probably going to be some enemies spawning from there. So I think we want some more prisoner prods, another neuro stun, and some tear gas. I should be okay for dealing with any enemies that come through there. I hope. We'll have to wait and see, obviously. Let's head up. Hopefully we'll find the exit sooner rather than later. Another clean room with an item in it. Oh, uh, we get a t-shirt. A t-shirt, by the way, is a titanium shirt. Oh, no, it's not. This is a other t-shirt. This quantum tunnel shirt displays the image of an object behind the wearer making them difficult to target. Ooh, that's very nice. Does anyone still have a prison uniform? You do. Just swap those over. So, you get your t-shirt and your other t-shirt. The t-shirt is a titanium shirt. That's literally what it's called. Uh, you two are going to have to come back down here, I think. We'll keep that room powered just to stop any enemies from cheekily spawning in it, which no doubt they would these two can get to this room they should be able to hold it just fine we'll give you verbal abuse he's now got a fair amount of defense so he should be okay everyone is fine that's good he can go and repair all the turrets and such he has repair after all so I want to make the most out of it mm. what do we want Ooh, I'm really tempted to go for that suppressive fire or the tear gas. We'll go tear gas. After all, we use it, so we should probably upgrade the stuff we actually use. Now then, still got these two doors down there. We're not going to be going down there for a while. I want to make sure we explore most routes before we have to take that one. Um, how are they going to do in this room? 
Not liking the look of this. I think we'll be okay, but I'm not sure about up here if they'll just run straight past. Like they are doing. Same with that thing, actually. Yeah, go after that thing. Oh, do not let it get to the core. Okay, good, run into here. Oh, bit of a drop there. Hopefully that won't desync the audio. Get you two up here. Looks like most of the enemies are prioritising running through. Which is certainly better for us. <laughs> Whoever made this mess wouldn't know a ratchet spanner from a cross toothed positron vice. I apologise for that. Slight pause there. So. Let's keep going up. Not many other ways we can go. Uh, we'll get more prisoner prods in here. Do we want the tear gas or the neurostone? We'll grab the tear gas actually. And we'll crank open some more of these doors. I don't see why humans enjoy exploring. Yeah, I don't see why humans so enjoy exploration. Yes, I mentioned before my speaking skills are atrocious. I apologise. Let's keep going up. Uh, ooh, this could have something in it. Or it could have monsters. It's got dust, but we've got tear gas level 3. And we can power up this room. But there's nothing really over here. So I don't want to prioritise building stuff over there. I'd rather keep these rooms powered. Now then, uh, there are enemies spawning, so you two are going to need to run back. Yeah, those neurostuns are really nice. Help out a lot. As you can clearly tell with the way enemies are not getting through there. So far, the waves have been quite easy on us. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. We did unfortunately lose our science machine there. So let's build it, or rebuild it here instead. Less chance of it getting destroyed, I feel. Now then, what other things can we research? A Tesla module, ooh. Those things get powerful. But the pepper spray upgrade? Land module? No, we'll go for the Tesla module. It does 30 damage every second, and I think that only increases. Well, obviously it does, as we uh, level up the module. So we want to get that. That way we're not relying so much on the tear gas, but the tear gas is still certainly good. After all, it halves enemy defences. It divides defense by 2.8. Which is certainly a good thing. So open up this door. As we go further up, the uh, floors do get bigger. In case that wasn't obvious. Uh, let's build some stuff in here. So we've got some defenses. I don't want to build too much, but we've got plenty of production. So I don't feel too bad about doing that. Let's keep an eye on things over here as well, though. In fact, just to be sure, let's get some prisoner prods in here. And say some tear gas. Maybe a neurostone would have been better. How are you two doing? They should be just fine. They are quite powerful. Um, the health looks fine. They're still in combat. Yeah, but only with those, so they melt. Okay, run back down here. I'd kind of prefer it if we didn't have so many operators. Because I feel obligated to use them more. But I think we'll be just fine. We don't have to use them. Now then. Still looking for the exit, so we'll have to keep moving. Now there's a lot of doors. Some rooms, by the way, do link to other rooms. So if we go and find a room here then we don't actually have to open this door because it's opening doors that count the turns so if there's a room here and a room here we can don't, we don't have to open this door and if we do open it then it counts as opening any other door to another room unfortunately there's not well, there's a merchant which is always a good thing he wants science uh, he doesn't have anything we really want though so 
I think we can afford to leave him alone. Let's keep moving. This looks like it's got nothing in it. Oh no, it's the exit. We got the Tesla module as well. No enemies appear to have spawned as well, which is good. Uh, do we move on? I mean, we could do. Will we have enough power to reach there? We should do. Hmm. It's difficult to decide on the course of action we should take. Hmm. Hum 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 hum. You see, I want to open more doors to get more resources, as you do. But I also don't want to open more doors because it would be more problematic for us. Uh, I think I want to upgrade the smoking gun. That way, hopefully, we can start putting it to some use. So we'll get that going. We'll keep opening doors up here. It's going to get a little risky. Could probably open this one just fine. Um, that room is powered, so we can put, say, prisoner pod, prisoner pod, Tesla module, and a neuro stun. And that should help deal with anything that goes in that room. You are there as well, so let's open this door instead. Leads to a closet. It looks like a self-powered room, though. It's not, but it's got an artifact in it, so we can research other things. Tear gas four, though. Ooh, it's powerful. Science Machine 3 though, not a bad choice either. Now there doesn't look to be any wave spawning, which is a good thing. Okay, that's good. No waves. Well, we could do some leveling up if we felt like it. Who do we level up though? Everyone, apart from her, has already uh, leveled up a fair amount. So who do we level up next? Who's got the lowest health? He has. So we'll level him up. Recycling. Ah, he gets 0.2 industry from killing monsters. That's quite good, actually. We haven't actually used his ability. We probably should do that. I mean, now that he's got some pretty substantial attack power, he's not really that weak. Of course, it's a closet. But it's got monsters in it. Um, let's retreat down to the room with some defences in it. That way we can kill the enemies a bit easier. You can activate your surgical striker. Ooh, that's a bit of damage taken there. His surgical striker, I imagine, is quite nasty. After all, it, again, it does boost his power quite substantially. I mean, you're talking plus an attack power, so that goes up. And his attack cooldown goes down, so he hits more often. Now then we've explored everything, well not everything up here, nearly everything up here. Uh, will that alleyway be safe? It looks like it'll be okay. So let's open this door here. It is getting a bit risky, opening all these doors. It is just a closet, hopefully we'll get at least three dust. Uh, we don't, but it's a self-powered room, so that's completely fine. Enemies are spawning down here however, and up here as well. So we're going to have to uh, keep an eye on things. How are things down on this side? We do have a lot of defences. Oh, well, it looks like our crystal's going to go down, unfortunately. Uh, you heal. We should be able to kill them. There's a fair number of them, but our defences should hold. Keep jumping backwards and forwards. Looks like they might not. Tesla module, Neurostun, tear gas, and more prisoner prods. There we go. That should keep that room nice and defended. Hopefully, they won't go after the research, but if they do, we've got another one up here, so it doesn't matter a huge amount if they do or not. Like everything is okay. Sloppy human job. <laughs> oh, I like the little conversation things you get. Trying to go down there and fix that up. You can go here. 
What can we research? Take us level four. Hmm. That's hard. That's quite a lot. It's dividing their defenses by. Ooh. We'll uh, we'll hold off on that until say near the end of the floor. Let's prepare all these rooms first, though. Get some dust from here as well. Oh, we're up to a hundred, which means we can power another room. Yeah, he's saying the same thing he said earlier. Uh, we'll power up this room, I think. Stop enemies spawning in it. Do we move on? Hmm. Maybe we'll go maybe two or three more doors. Not too many though. What time are we on? 25. Okay. This room has nothing in it. However, it has unfortunately activated a pulse. I shut these down, which is kind of problematic. No enemies spawned though, which is the good news. So that doesn't end too badly for us. This is a closet, which is nice to see. It's got a person in it. Well, we can't buy him because no one's died. So it's good to see we've got another person though. He'll provide some sort of meat shield for us, which will be somewhat useful. Um. Can't depower any rooms, unfortunately. I was hoping to power up these two at least. I think we move on now. We haven't got a huge amount out of these later floors, but as long as we keep moving, we should be okay. And we do have to keep loving our people as well. So, industry and uh, food are going to be some higher priorities, I think, from now on. And we'll give you the. Uh, ooh. We'd have to do three more doors to get that. We'll get the tear gas. And now we shall prepare to leave. So you two can head up to, say, here. We will depower most of this side. It is a shame these things won't be active. That's powered by Mysterious Force. Uh, we'll keep that one powered, I think. Power up this one, this one. Those two are in there. You are down there, you need to be up here as well. And time to leave. So here we go. Everyone is in position. Yep. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> Just want to point out what she said. I've got the crystal, let's sneak it out. And she shouts. <laughs> oh, I like the little, uh, the little things that happen in this game. Little bits of dialogue you get when you do stuff. Looks like there was oh, there's a chest there. That's a shame. Well, it's not a huge deal. We've got pretty much everyone decked out with at least something, so I don't feel too bad about leaving that small chest behind. You can keep heading towards the exit. We'll keep everyone running up behind you. I did not mean to heal him, but we've got plenty of food, thankfully, so it's not a huge waste. Do you have anything we want? No, you don't. Okay, then moving on. One, two, three, four, and leave. Just so you know, you don't actually have to get everyone to the elevator to leave the floor. You can leave people behind. So don't just click that button right away. More dialogue. Come on, Warden, take your medicine. No, I found this. I'm happy. I'm feeling better. It's all good. Not good enough. Try some of this and see how you. Get away from me, stay back. Help, stay back, you meddling medic. Ooh, secrets unlocked in biographs. So these two, have, I think, have just gained some abilities. Uh, it's at 29, so we should be able to see this on the next floor. So let's see if they've unlocked anything new. Uh, I think she has. Yes, she's got uh, stimulated. Plus 5% five, plus five speed and plus 5% health. Committed to getting the heck, uh, committed to getting the heck out by the overcome of their story. The hero focuses on the job at hand, and you have Feral. Uh, overexcited or enraged by the outcome of their story, the hero turns both dangerous and reckless. So this is probably he's not too bad. His defense goes down by four percent, but his attack power goes up. But he's not doing much shooting anyway, so. It's okay. In fact, we can see the end of their story. 
Uh, Relentless and loud, Dina has few patients but many victims. While she is competent, medically speaking, her ability to drive the wounded into fits of madness has made her an unpopular nurse. And he has to say, a disguise grabbed in the hasteful moment. Oh, a disguise grabbed in the haste of the moments may be more harmful than helpful. So he apparently grabbed this disguise of the mask and the chair, but he doesn't actually need it, and as such, it has driven him slightly mad. That could have ended a lot worse. As I mentioned before, I have had them kill each other. But we are going to have to end this episode or part here. I'm not sure if I'm going to call these episodes or parts. I think I'll go with episodes. Episode sounds better. An episode of the Dungeon of the Endless. So I hope you guys are enjoying, and I'll see you all next time.